Welcome to Lesson 7, Navigation and Selection of the SDS2 Getting Started series. In this video, we are going to cover different techniques for selection and navigation. As we've seen before, in the Select Items mode, the middle button, of course, is your pan. Press Shift, that allows you to rotate around the pointer. Using your scroll wheel on your mouse, you can scroll in and out to your pointer. I'm going to open up the navigation drop-down menu and I'm going to demonstrate just a few of these zoom commands. You have zoom into region as you can see the shortcut key is ZW allows you to zoom into region. You can use unzoom which is also located in the right-click menu which zooms out to the extents of your steel you can also go in there and use this option called zoom out to region which will take your current display and fit it into the box that you've created you have zoom to fit so if I have a member or item selected if I select this zoom to fit the system will zoom to that selected item Now let's move on to selection. First of all, to clear a selection, you can either hold your shift or your control key down. Both of them will expose the clear selection on the right click menu. You can also go ahead and clear a selection by simply selecting into this dead zone, any area where there is no item. Of course, this applies, just like zoom, to both the 3D and 2D. Now let's look at selection. If I put my mouse on top of a member and left click, I can select a member. I can also select a member by going from my left to right, and any item that is contained both ends within that box, it'll become selected. If I go the opposite direction from right to left, it functions as a crossing for selection. I can remove from selection by holding down the control key while in the select items mode and you'll see there's a select minus which allows me to either single remove selection or I can use my crossing to remove selection. If I hold down my shift key in select item mode you'll see that there's the add to selection. I can either select this way by locating single or I can add to select using my crossing. When I hover on top of a member and right click, you'll also see that there are some other select items. In this case, I can right click and select to add to selection. Now with the right click, when I come in here and I select that member again, it will be removed from the selection. Now let's dealing with editing of members. If I come in and single select, in this case, a member or an item, it could be any item, it could be like a text in 2D. If I go in and select it and then hit edit, the system will open up that edit screen for that particular item, in this case, a member. If I double click on an item, that will go ahead and open up the item as well, just like other programs. If I select more than one item of the same member type and I right click, and I select edit this will open up the multi edit window as we can see at the top in the title now in the multi edit window anything that is gray we means that it is different between the items that are selected now you do have the option here to type in and overwrite that gray which means that that difference will now be the same for all those items that are selected what is going to happen is whatever was different will now become the same. This will conclude this basic navigation and selection. After the process and create solids is done, within that video we will go further into the selection process.